Now we all know that technological advances are increasing rapidly. Now we need to ensure that this remains a benefit rather than a disruption to our inherent way of life. A typical example is in rural Africa where the adoption of mobile phones has skyrocketed. A statistic, 23% of these rural users are actively using the internet on their phones. Now, with this trend on the rise and the possible adoption of smartphones and laptops, how is this going, and the power infrastructure they need to charge their devices going to change or disrupt their way of life? So, we decided to come up with a new model for power distribution based on one of the most simple, inherent, and traditional aspects of rural lifestyle, fetching water from a water well. So, what we developed is a battery storage. It's more of a personal energy storage device that they can take to a central charging station, charge up, and return, bring back to their homes. Um, this device itself is more than just a battery. We like to... Yeah, we like to describe it as more than just a battery. Um, it kind of helps. We, we want the villagers to actually really be proud of it, to really know that this is their unit. So we have plans to make it social, fun, functional, and cool. Now, the water well itself, we've called this device Kita, actually, which in the rural cause of language means to light up. The water well itself can be a renewable energy charging station, which belongs to the village. Now, this, this model actually works really well, and it makes the cost is very feasible, much more feasible than trying to provide power to each individual household. Um, and of course, the sense of shared ownership is a very inherent rural aspect, and it's, it's really part of the rural sense of community. So, the question is, why do people need power? Um, apart from the basics, such as lighting, there are lots, it's mostly a gateway for a lot of other technological advances, such as M-Pesa, which is a mobile, it's a mobile payments platform, and um, Kiva, a micro-lending for entrepreneurs in these rural areas. Um, lots of other benefits, such as medical benefits, education, information, reporting on elections and r disasters. So, I say let's do this. Let's privatize power distribution and not let politics hold us back. Because, first of all, we don't need large power lines just to charge one cell phone. Um, also, with technology and electronics becoming more energy efficient, smaller, um, and more portable, it should make sense that power distribution should follow a similar trend. Okay, now... The solution itself is not yet perfect, but if we can get 80% of the benefit now, let's, let's do this. And let's prove to these people that to be an entrepreneur, to make it big, and to actually make your family proud, you no longer leave, have to leave your way of life behind you and move to the city. Let's light up these communities, give them the power, and let them prove that this is an idea worth spreading. Thank you.